how's it going everyone welcome to double pebble and today is a fo4 review video so i know some of you still playing fo3 asking for fo3 reviews but the fact is the game is dead and my friend don't really have time to play so as and when he has time he will play some games and i'll make a review here and there because i personally cannot play fo3 anymore okay so we'll do with fo4 which is uh, based on my own gameplay and today we are looking at Emmanuel Petit, an Arsenal legend and we are looking at the NHD version which in my opinion is the better one okay, if you have the time you can compare stats and you will realize that the NHD version is the better Petit even though the overall is lower okay so let's now start by looking at his stats so here are the stats of Petit you can look at the hexagonal diagram here which I like to refer to this one is like the Naruto one uh. everything is almost a hexagon shape already which means that he is pretty well rounded it's one of the highest stamina stat in the game 98 not the best dribbler good ball control good tackling good shot passing average finishing long passing is good and his long shot is very good as well 91 interception is exceptional 93 positioning is not that good vision reaction is good 89 sprint speed 81 83 acceleration you might think is slow okay but for cms in this game that is considered quite okay already shot power is 91 volley the rest not so important agility is decent as well marking is good sliding tackle aggression strength all good composure is high jump is decent work rate is mid high so you can tell that he is more of a defensive player and if you realize right his overall increased by 3 when you put him in cdm compared to cm trade wise he's got only one prefer long shot ai so this is more important for manager mode lah. now we'll do a quick comparison between nhd petit and top transfer season petit as you guys can see right other than dribbling finishing positioning vision reaction acceleration everything else nhd petit is better which means that it would be wiser for you to buy nhd petit price wise both versions are about the same at 12 million recently for some reason there is like a inflation within the game so every single player's price has gone up when i packed him he was about 5 million now it's 12 million so almost more than double the price already so we will now go into the in-game analysis and see whether petit is worth it Okay, first thing I feel is that Petit is more of a box-to-box -box midfielder rather than a defensive midfielder, okay? So it will be better for you to put him in CM rather than CDM. During the game, right, it is also very common to see him making a tackle at one end of the pitch and then sprinting all the way to the other end of the pitch to support your attackers. That being said, he is actually more defensive-minded as compared to other midfielders like Pogba, Goulet, he is a more like Gattuso, like Nigel Dijon, like Patrick Vieira, that kind. They are more defensively minded. And we have to talk about his defensive strength first. Defensively, he is very good. He has a very solid feel to him because of the fact that he has the third highest strength stat in the game currently. He is also very, very strong in his tackle. He's very aggressive when challenging for the ball and basically positions himself very well for interceptions now in fo4 defending many times you need your ai to do their ai positioning in order for you to one tackle easier and also to intercept easier and i think that in this aspect petit do pretty well many times you will also see him charging around the pitch and then putting himself about easily dispossessing weak attackers you see once they come into contact right the attackers will just give up one so that is how strong petit is he's also got one of the highest stamina stat in the game at 98 so there's no worries of him running out of gas towards the end of the match so for midfielders stamina is pretty important especially in late game now we need to talk about the attacking aspect of his game even though he is more defensive minded he does attack as you guys know the current engine for fo4 is very friendly to long shots it's so easy to score long shots it's like high true in fo3 so in this aspect petit is crazy because he's got very very good long shots so you can just fire away with him from any distance and one it will go in two the goalkeeper will save and you get a corner so there's actually no downside to that it's also got that post goal frank lampard effect like sprinting from the back so that you can slide a nice square ball to him and then allowing him to either beat the defender 
from the first touch or to unleash a long shot which is something that I like to do a square ball to an on rushing midfielder generally petite and then he can do the long shot he also scored quite a lot of goals for me to be honest so I feel that the highlights are not doing him justice because during the highlights he didn't seem to perform as well as he does off camera maybe he's camera shy or something but off the camera he scores like one goal every other game he is very very prolific free kick as well this is funny because he's the only left footer in my team when I need a left footer midfielder to take my free kicks he is able to score free kick direct free kick so even though his free kick stats are poor he can score free kicks weakness there's only two the first one is dribbling his dribbling stat is low so dribbling with him is clunky you won't expect a silky smooth feel although this is not a big problem because you don't really want to dribble too much with your midfielder the central midfielder so this is not really a big problem for me another thing is his weak foot his right foot is really quite useless so last time i used to put him on the right side of the midfield and then when he do the driven shot with his right foot right it is quite pathetic so this is also something you want to look out for as much as possible try to shoot with his left foot overall i will give him a 9 out of 10 because he is considered one of the big three midfielders in the game currently in my opinion together with bullet and Vieira and there's a good reason for it because he's exceptionally complete as a midfielder other than a few minor weaknesses so there's no reason why you should not be using him is he worth it to be honest I just saw the price 12 million a bit expensive I would say you must get petite it's just when so previously he was about 5 million 6 million that is like the best time to get him now he's 12 million is quite expensive I would suggest wait for GM to do something about the inflation and then once the price comes down to about 6 or 8 million, get him. Because he's going to be one of the anchors in your midfield for a long long time. With that, I'd like to end this review. Hope you guys enjoy. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy my FO4 review video. And also do subscribe for more FIFA online content. We are very close to 12k subscribers. So let's push on to reach 12k. Check out our Facebook page as well together with our Discord. The links are all in the description box. And I'll see you next time.